Yasai Ninja occasionally has 2D platforming segments, which may seem a little odd, but they work fine and some, like this one, are very stylish in the way they use their lighting and atmosphere. That background is gorgeous and the very selective lighting in the foreground. It all comes together very well, this is a beautiful set piece. You know, how you use your art assets is just as important as the quality of your art assets. Yasai Ninja may not be a beautiful looking game, but it uses what it has to the best of its ability. As for the 2D platforming itself, we control both characters simultaneously, because otherwise it would uh, be near impossible to play. And if you were playing this 2D platforming segment co-op, you would control the characters independently. Each player would control one character. And the 2D platforming in co-op mode requires a lot more synergy than any other 2D platformer I've seen. Especially when falling platforms get into the mix, you have to be on top of each other. You have to be jumping at exactly the same time, get a real rhythm going. And it's for that reason that the 2D platforming segment is my favorite part while playing co-op. Because you have to form an understanding with your partner of when to jump and what rhythm you have to follow. It goes a lot deeper than words because you can't talk that fast. So playing this cooperatively, cooperatively, in my experience, the 2D platforming segments are the best. Nothing else quite like it in other 2D platformers. Usually other 2D platformers have more forgiving timing when you're, when you're playing co-op. There are some relatively difficult 2D co-op platformers like Guaymon's Great Adventure. But like Yasai Ninja, Guaymon's Great Adventure's 2D platforming becomes much easier when you play single player. In Guaymon's Great Adventure and Yasai Ninja, you're basically handicapping yourself on purpose when you play cooperatively. But I think that also makes the 2D platforming more fun. I guess your mileage may vary. If you don't have good synergy with your partner, I can imagine it being especially frustrating. But when I played it cooperatively, it was a good time. I should say that the platforming mechanics feel different in 2D. The characters feel a lot less floaty. They have more weight to them. But it doesn't take that long to get used to. And they jump the same height, thankfully. In co-op, one of them runs slightly faster than the other, which is another thing you have to account for. But when you're playing single player, they both run at the same speed. Originally, I thought the Zen-like synergy required was an accident, but they make a reference to it in one of the cutscenes. So I'm inclined to think it's intentional. Mm -hmm. 